Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. This one is my last video on quiz or exam management system project. And the previous video I just completed my student module part. So if you are not seeing that video, just go to description and check out the link. In this video, I'm going to create a new JFrame for this all student result part. So let's start. Let me close this application first. And uh, let me create a new JFrame for that. So uh, here I'm just creating new JFrame and renaming it as all student result okay let me click on finish it's loading you can see form has been created and the first thing is we are going to increase the size is to 1066 comma 535 okay now let me close this and after that we are going to properties and first we will set it as always on the top after that, we are moving a little bit down and here you can see undecoded. Let's click on this. It will remove min, max and close button from this form. After that, we are setting the location of this form. So here I'm just moving. Here you can see this one is location. So in the X axis, I'm just writing 150 and the Y axis, I'm just writing 183. Let me click on OK. Let me close this and let me save it now. The first thing is we are going to insert here level In this I am going to insert I icon. So the icon is I am using here all student a student result PNG image here. And let me remove this label from this. Okay. After that we are inserting another label here. And in this I am going to write all student result. Okay. And uh, let me increase the font size of this. Going to the properties, and here I'm just uh, here. And in this, I'm just changing the font to this one, and making it a size to 40. Okay. Okay. Let me close this, and let me make it little bit up. Okay. After that, we here need one button. That one is for the close this form. Okay. Let me. Go to the properties and let me set the icon for that. That one is a closed PNG image. Okay. Let me read this text. Remove this button. Okay. Button. Sorry. Button text we are removing from that. After that here we need a separator. So I'm just moving it to swing menu. Here you can see there's a separator. So let me place it here. Let me increase the size to the max of this form. Okay can see after that here we just need another label let me move little bit up and here you can see the label and uh, let me place this and here I just need to write filter student students by marks okay and uh, let me increase the size is to going to the properties I'm making it as bold 20 okay 20 okay let me close this and for that we also need a text field so I'm just place it here text field let me edit this text remove this let me increase the size of this and we are also going to the properties making it as bold 20 bold 20 okay let me close this and after that here we just need a table uh, so let me first check out the size okay size is perfect same as same as okay let me insert here table okay you can see let me decrease the size of this table after that we again resize this form 1066 and 535 okay and after that we just move little bit uh, down this table and increasing the size is to the max of this form okay let me also increase the size from right down also you can see one more thing we just need to insert an image in the background so for that we are changing this absolute layout after that we are inserting a label here so label and going to the properties I am selecting an image that one is a page admin background admin okay and let me place it perfectly on this form and let me double click on this double click on this here you can see let me remove this name from here 
and save it. You can see our front end part has been completed. Now we have to write the codes for the back end. So first we are going to write the codes for this. So I'm just moving event uh, action, action performed. And here just moving it to here. And here I'm just writing admin home admin home dot open variable we are setting here zero and set visible I'm just writing here false okay we also need to connect this form with the admin home page so I'm just moving it here and in this I'm just writing right click on this and moving to the event and make sure you are moving to the mouse clicked event okay and in this we are just going to copy the previous code you can see this one code and just changing a little, little bit little bit in it so here I'm just writing let me remove this and I'm just writing new and the all the student page results set visible I'm just writing here true okay admin home page is connected with our all student uh, result page now now here we just need to write the codes so first uh, before writing the code we are going to import here import import java dot sql dot asterisk okay after that we are importing a package import project package with the connection provider class and after that we just need to load this uh, result in this table so for that we are just writing the codes in this here you can see this one is a public all student in the component in this we are going to write the codes so the first we are writing try catch okay and in this we are just writing exception e and in try block we are just writing connection connection con equals to connection provide a class dot get con okay after that we are just writing a statement statement st equals to con dot rate statement after that we are using result set to retrieve data rs equals to st dot execute query here and in this I'm just writing the select select star from a student okay student table we already created and after that we are just writing a j table j table dot set auto resizable we are setting it off okay and in this we just write j table one dot auto auto resizable of this one okay after that we just need to we just need to display the data in our table so for that i'm just writing j table dot set model and here just writing db util and db util we are importing from a package rs rs to xml in the previous videos i just added this in our library so if you are not my see my previous video i will highly recommend you and go and watch that videos okay after that we just need to select this table model okay and in this this one is rs okay we just you can see automatically rs has been written after that in the catch we just need to write the exception will be generated okay g option pan dot show message dialog you can see let me move it a little bit up null and you can see exception will be displayed after that we just need to write few lines of the code in this so here we just when admin enter value then it should uh, table content should be generated okay so for that we are just going to do is we just need to move it to the key released we just need to generate event that one is key released here yeah, you can see this one click on it and make it little bit up and here we first we are going to declare a variable in term marks okay if j text field j text field dot get text and when dot equals equals 
and the text field is null like uh, this one is a zero in that case we are just setting marks equals to zero okay and else condition i'm just writing marks marks equals to integer percent we are converting that uh, integer to uh, string to sorry string to integer form so that we can match it with our database dot get text okay you can see uh, we get uh, marks in our integer form after that we just need to write the same code which we already written here so let me copy this and we just need to little bit change in it so just copy it and paste it here okay let me paste it here you can see and after that we just need to change it here like here we just need to change in the query here we just need to write where 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 marks marks is greater than equals to double quotes or you can see directly double quotes and here we just need to write marks marks okay and one more thing we just need to do right here just write here j frame any exception will be generated in that case jf equals to new j frame and jf dot set always on the top so true okay and here just connected right here null jf okay so you can see our all student result part has been also completed so let me run it from admin home page okay and let me check it out it's working or not so let me click on all student you can see all the student result you can see here row number 1002526 or 2 you can see here let me check out the marks you can see marks 2 3 7 5 I just want to the students who secure more than five marks or equal to the five marks. I just am going to write five. You can see automatically all the students who getting lower than five marks it get removed from this table. So when we delete this value from table, you can see automatically all the marks has been. You can see here. Let me write the three. You can see we having two marks. A student get removed from this table. So it's working. so this is all about my quiz or exam management system i explain you step by step i hope you guys like this my project so stay tuned with us please hit like and subscribe my channel